हेलो फ्रेंड्स मैं सेल डॉक्टर हरजीत पवार फ्रॉम एस एन डी सी ओ एंड आर सी एवला टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक कंपोजिट मटेरियल्स इन विच द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ कंपोजिट मटेरियल्स नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी कंसिडर द वेरियस टॉपिक्स introduction to composite materials need of composites classification of composites composite is the important term as our engineering also in various sciences composite materials are used in various field introduction to composite materials we need materials which special properties like high strength and low density Composites are multi-phase materials which can be artificially made to get desired properties. Number second, composite materials are combination of two or more individual materials with different physical or chemical properties. Right means there are combination or two or dip, uh, more than two materials. which are the different chemical properties also physical properties a composite materials each structural material that consists of two or more combined constituents which are com- combined at microscopic level are not soluble in each other it consists of two phases one is primary another is secondary primary forms the matrix matrix and uh, secondary phase is uh, embedded which is embedded composite materials are the engineering materials made from two or more constituent materials which significantly different physical chemical properties remain separate and distinct at the microscopic or माइक्रोस्कोपिक स्केल विद इन द फिनिश्ड स्ट्रक्चर वन द कंडीशन इज दैट वन ऑफ द मटेरियल शुड रिटेन इट्स ओरिजिनल फिजिकल आइडेंटिफाई आफ्टर प्रोसेसिंग इन कंपोजिट वन ऑफ द मटेरियल कॉल्ड एज द रेन फोर्सिंग फेज इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फाइबर सीट और पार्टिकल्स एंड एम्बेडेड टू अदर मटेरियल कॉल्ड एज द मैट्रिक्स matrix phase the reinforcing materials and matrix materials can be metal ceramic or polymer now the composite is the combination of two or four materials here fiber plus matrix is equal to your composites the figure shows fiber plus matrix right next what are the needs of this composite composites is very important nowadays first is a weight reduction high strength to weight ratio in this it helps to reduce fuel use or increase acceleration or range in the transportation also it improves top size stability in vessels and offshore structures for the deep sea applications number second is the durability and maintenance durability and maintenance in which composite doesn't rust which is crucial especially in marine and chemical environments the need of maintenance and painting is reduced or eliminated also combine the excellent fatigue resistance and composite can increase product life span by several times in many applications number third added functionality composites are thermal insulators which is good for fiber and blast protection in various cryogenics applications also electrical insulation is useful sensor electronics cabling can be embedded right next one is a design freedom composite design allows 
called freedom of architectural form many parts can be consolidated into one and tipness insert etc composite can be tailored to suit applications by choosing consistent material and embedded extra functionalities these are the need of the composites it is very very important need because durability strengthness toughness hardness everywhere the composite materials are good than other next one is a classification of composites it is vast in the classification we will only introduce the names here and detail classification in next lectures there are two types of the composite materials first is a matrix based another is a reinforcement types in the matrix based materials there are also various types there are three types matrix based polymer matrix metal matrix ceramic matrix right in which first is a polymer matrix polymer matrix having further two types thermoplastics and thermosets thermoplastics consist of the nylon pp abc pc pps and ppo also the thermoset polyester vinister epoxy and phenolic next second one is the metal matrix metal matrix consist of aluminum copper nickel titanium next one is the ceramic matrix ceramics it consist of glass cement etc now the second type is the reinforcement types in the reinforcement types there are further four types subdivided it reinforcement viscous reinforcement particle reinforcement fiber reinforcement and structural these are the four types in particle reinforcement further divided into two types first is a large particle second one is a dispersed strength product then next is our fiber reinforcement it is continuous short and hybrid these three sub types of the fiber reinforcement first is the continuous it is further divided into two types unidirectional and bidirectional second one is the short short having a line and a random third one is a hybrid hybrid is a oblique and orthogonal number four types of the reinforcement is a structural which is laminated second one is a sandwich the detail of this is introduced of the discuss in the next lectures of the classification Thanks